Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to SSLC's Pathway webinar series. My name is Ilyas and I'm the Pathway Program Manager here at SSLC, joining you once again from our Vancouver campus. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today, we have uh, our Pathway partner from Toronto. We have Seneca College joining us today. And we have uh, Tarek uh, joining us, representing Seneca College. Hi, Tarek, how are you? Good, how are you, Ilyas? Good thing. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, it's always nice to see familiar faces. Uh, as some of you may know, uh, Tarek uh, was part of uh, our uh, our family here uh, years ago. So it's always yeah. nice to see uh, familiar faces. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about Seneca College's uh, programs, uh, admission requirements and procedures, and of course, as we always do, how you can easily transition from SSLC's pathway program, uh, which is the EPE program, English for Postsecondary Education, to Seneca's uh, undergraduate diploma uh, and certificate programs or even bachelor's programs. So Tarek will give us uh, uh, detailed information about those. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll, but before we start with Tarek's presentation, maybe we'll get to know him first. Tarek, can you please uh, tell us a bit more about yourself for our audience? So basically, my name is Tarek Sokman. I just moved to Canada in 2006 to Vancouver, actually, at the beginning. And I was studying at the KGIC at the beginning, but mm -hmm. now it's called SSLC. Mm -hmm. So after the completion of KGIC, I mean SSLC, so I started to study at BCIT for two years. And mm -hmm. after the two years, like I got the postgraduate work, work permit, like everybody. Mm -hmm. And I started to work at a, like the Korean agency, it's called UVNU, but I was in charge of their fairs and events. Mm -hmm. So then I started to work at IL, uh, KGIC. Mm -hmm. Now it's SSLC. So I worked there like four years. Mm -hmm. It's a very different journey for me. Like everybody's from there is my family. I feel like that my part of my family. Mm -hmm. Family. And after that, I start to work at another ESL school. Mm -hmm. Then in January 2020, I moved to the Seneca College. Start, moved to the Toronto in different life, and now I'm here. <laughs> what a journey for you! Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, we can we can say uh, what a success story. So you've you've uh, you went through. Uh, what most of our students uh, come uh, here for. They come, uh, improve their English with us, and then they move on to uh, a post-secondary institution like yours, like Seneca College. And then uh, eventually they obtain post-graduation work permit, just uh, as you did. And then uh, they find uh, their uh, suitable immigration program, and then they immigrate to Canada and uh, be part of Canada. Okay, so... Uh, that's enough uh, for me uh, talking. Why don't we start with your presentation? Sure. Or maybe, uh, yeah, you can uh, share your... Uh, and, I'll get this guy. Mm -hmm. right. and while you set that up, it's already up there. Okay, perfect. Great. Um, yeah, let's get to know more about uh, Seneca College uh, and what you have to offer. And then... Um, in the end, we'll do a Q&A, and if questions arise in the meantime, I may interrupt you from time to time. Uh, also, for our audience, uh, if you have any questions, you can simply type your questions on the chat box on the right-hand side of your screen, or you can click on the Ask a Question tab uh, or button, and then you can ask quest your questions from there. And if you want to join us live, uh, on this webinar and ask your question live. You can also do that. All you have to do is just go ask a question and uh, Jem can invite you uh, live on stage if you have, if you want to uh, appear live with us. Okay, um, floor is yours, Tarek. Let's, uh, we can start. Yeah, so basically I introduced myself. So again, I just started working. I moved to Toronto in 2020. So basically, I will talk about the, what's it, like the college system in Canada and Toronto in overall and why you need to choose college or if, if the college system is right for you or not. So basically, those three topics I will try to cover. Mm -hmm. So like the Seneca College, what is Seneca College? Seneca College is the public institution that authorized by the Ontario 
Canadian federal government. So that means that we are a degree granted school, which means that we can issue after our completion of our programs, you can get the postgraduate work permit that leads you to immigrate to Canada. And Seneca College known as a, I'm not sure I couldn't find the real, real numbers and evidence about it, but Seneca College is the biggest college system in Canada, especially in Ontario as well. So in the future, I will talk about it. We, we have like over 35,000 students, part-time and full-time, and over 10,000 international students. And also all college programs and the Seneca College programs are industry related. So we offer more practical programs than academic programs. So that means that if let's say you take the social, like lately it's a digital marketing, uh, program is very famous right after the pandemic so let's say if there is an update in the digital pan like digital marketing program mm -hmm. so we updated our curriculum as well so if you study at the college and the Seneca college you will get more practical learning skills mm -hmm. so I'll give you the one example from my side I graduated university in Turkey mm -hmm. so I studied I was I'm I was horrible at accounting program accounting courses in Turkey I was about to fail all the time because we were like all memorizing the things like it was more academic, more academic. But when I started to work at the BCIT college in Vancouver and they told me that I need to take the accounting and I was really, really scared about it. <laughs> but when I took the accounting programs, accounting courses, I seen that it's a more practical. So we are learning the things. We are practicing things, not memorizing the stuff. So when I was in Turkey, like my books were that thick, but the, in the BCIT, in the college system that I studied accounting, it was a very that thick. But I learned way more things, and I still remember that what I studied at the accounting program, the accounting courses. So, so we can say that in college, uh, colleges in Canada and uh, Seneca is one of them, of course. Uh, it's yeah. preparing students for the workforce out there. You know, it's giving hands-on experience to students where they can easily find uh, jobs once they graduate. Exactly, exactly. Also in the college system, we supported the, with the work integrated program. So which means uh, co-ops, internships, mm -hmm. and also some research projects. So that I, remember, uh, I told you, like it's a more practical in like related programs, mm -hmm. practical uh, supported programs, and they are all industry related. Mm -hmm. So which means if you come to the, our advanced program and in one term or the maybe sometimes it's being one year so mm -hmm. you can get the co-op program co-op sections as well so which means that at the end of the semester or instead of the coming to the school you go mm -hmm. to the work and just work there and get the industry related industry experiences mm -hmm. so that means that basically after your completion most of the employers are seeking a, like more canadian experience so you gain the experience while you study. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do, you, do you place students into co-op jobs or internships or do they have to find it on their own? We, like, to be honest, it's my own personal experience in Canada. Like, uh, colleges gives you the, all the tools, mm -hmm. all the keys, and you open the door, your by, open the door by yourself. Mm -hmm. So, which means we support them. We have a, like, a work... Uh, career services and also program coordinators is supporting you to find a job. But we cannot guarantee you to, okay, you will get job in this area, this company. But we train you, we teach you, basically we give you, like we help you to build up a resume, your cover letter mm -hmm. and your interview skills and everything. But again, it's my ex own experiences. If you get in the program and if you complete the first semester or the sec second semester, mm -hmm. it's really, really tough to not to find a co-op program for co-op placement for yourself. Mm -hmm. And I haven't any experience, any student that couldn't get the co-op co uh, placement. Okay. So basically, and also in the Seneca College, we support our startups as well. Uh, we support our programs, uh, we support our startups, which means is the, it's called Helix. So basically, if you have any idea, like startup idea, mm -hmm. we provide you to working, working conditions, working offices, and working environment. 
we provide you the connection, uh, connecting, connecting the industry leaders, and you can present your ideas, and you can make your dreams happen in this Helix program. It's more detailed. If you feel free, like, if you like, just go to the website. You go there. So mm -hmm. I like the idea. Let's say, for example, you have a little startup idea and you want to start it, but you don't know where to start from. So we organize your idea and we help you to grow it, and you can have on your job. Right. And there's also here. So basically, again, as I mentioned to you before, like Seneca, I would say is the one of the top college system in the uh, Canada. So we have like over 30,000 students in overall part-time and full-time students. And we have uh, like 10 campuses and we have like 92 co-op employer satisfaction rate and overall 200, like nine, 1,900 like uh, grad graduates. And also, after the completion in three months, 92% of our graduates find the job in three months. And in that case, I just want to highlight one thing. And then as a uh, post grad in like five or seven years ago, so it was really, really like for me, it was really tough to find uh, my first job. But after you got your first job and your second job, your third job, your career will come through. Right away. So basically, when you graduated, it takes time to find your first job uh, after your graduation. So don't be really, really upset or sad about that. Mm -hmm. But after the like in Seneca College, usually like it takes three months to find a job after your graduation completion of your studies. Uh, so basically, what is the differences between college and university? So before you choose the college or university, if I were you, I would ask that question. Do you want to go to the professional career or do you want to go to the academic career? If you like to go more academic career, I would go to the university. And in Canada, there are many perfect universities in BC, in Ontario, and the other provinces as well. But if you like to go to the, in the fast track and immigrate to Canada, have a career, I would go to the mostly college system. So what is the differences between college and universities? So basically college programs, Seneca college programs are cheaper than the universities. And the requirements are mostly, it's easier than the universities again. So basically some universities are expecting to expect you to get a, like I had 7.5 or seven. But college programs, if you go to the diploma programs, you got like six, 6.5 IELTS. Mm -hmm. And or also, just the program, you can just yeah. avoid IELTS. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, like if you say, uh, for example, in the college programs, your teachers or your instructors' background is, doesn't have a like really huge or fancy academic career, they mostly have a professional careers. For example, one of, one of my friend, like one of my students, like recently graduated, and he graduated from social media marketing program at Seneca College, mm -hmm. and he is a really outstanding student, to be honest. And he's outstanding students, and he graduated from social media marketing program. And after his completion, his instructor offered him a job at his company. So, which means that your instructor can be your boss next year or can be your supervisor next year or he can be your reference to find your new job mm -hmm. so this is the advantage of the college but university you just talk to the professor or the assistants so it's more academic minded going that way mm -hmm. and small again small class sizes and helps you to interact with your classmates and helps you to connect with each other also helps you to connect with your instructor mm -hmm. and please don't forget that like you can always transfer from college to universities let's say diploma programs to bachelor programs postgrad programs to your master's programs as well so you always have a chance to complete your university studies so why college again first you need to decide if you like to have a 
professional career or academic career. So you need to choose two ways, like one of the way. If you say professional career, then you need to go to the, my suggestion is you need to go to the, like the college. So Seneca College or other college. And college system offers you the practical learning skills while you are studying and you can practice, bring, gain, and practice and gain work experience in Canada. And also small class sizes helps you to interact with your instructors and classmates. And also you always chance to transfer your credits to the university as well. In the college system, I, I've been always asked uh, what, which college is the best. So basically to be honest, to be fairly, uh, colleges doesn't have a huge, huge differences because in Canada, each public school has to be in the one standard. So basically, we all have a standard. So I cannot just say that, okay, we are the best and the Humber is not that good or George Brown is not that good. We, like I would say in the college system and the programs, some programs are specialized in the, for the college. For example, Seneca College is specialized at the technology programs and also business programs as well. But Hamburg, uh, George Brown College in Ontario, they specialize at the tourism programs and cooking programs and these kind of social programs as well. They are like a little bit one class is upper than the other schools as well. It depending all all your the faculties and all the uh, facilities as well. Mm -hmm. So do and not. It depends, uh, it depends not, on the location of the college as well, right? So if yeah, there, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that's yeah. why I'm just not trying to say Seneca, Seneca, Seneca. I'm just trying to be explain the college, the college system. Yeah. And so basically, this is the college, and also you know better than me, Elias, about the immigration procedure. So mm -hmm. basically, if you study in Canada, like for two years you can get like three, up to three years work permit, postgraduate work permit. That's the way I just became an immigrant or became a Canadian in Canada. And while you are studying, you can get 20 hours per week during your studies. So which means you can just work for part-time as well. Mm -hmm. And after your completion of one year experience, so you can apply to do your permanent residency in Canada. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm not sure you are expert about the immigration st situation, but I think it's the best way to get the immigration. Immigration, right? Yes, I mean uh, we've we've talked about uh, these in our past webinars as well, and uh, we also talked about the advantages of uh, studying at a college, and then that leads to I mean public college, and then that leads to a PGWP, uh, and then eventually. Uh, you have your uh, ways to apply either from uh, express entry or provincial nominee programs. So uh, once you're in the system, uh, it's always easier to apply uh, for a PR, for permanent residency in Canada. And and uh, as an immigration consultant, I would uh, definitely say uh, the fa one of the fastest uh, ways uh, in reaching to PR uh, and eventually becoming a Canadian citizen uh, goes through education in Canada. So. So it's it's a definitely a one of the uh, uh, fastest and um, uh, most effective ways. Yeah. So basically, I mean, for like to be honest, I was a, like I used to be an international student as well. So I was always thinking that okay, I need to get the PR as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But I realized that like it doesn't really help me to get the immigrant like PR like. So basically, there is a one word, like one sentence is not a qual, not a quantity. The quality is important. So basically, I would suggest international students that like make your life qual, like make, help get your education and make your life is more qualified and everything. Is the quantity and getting your PR and staying in the same stage all the time it doesn't really really help you to mm -hmm. become really happy in the Canada. Yeah, this is and, my own experience yes, as well. And, and uh, uh, there are ma many other advantages to studying in Canada, not just uh, you can get a post-graduation work permit and then eventually maybe get your PR, but, you know, you after you graduate, you need to find jobs, right? And yeah. uh, 
um, Canadian employers uh, want to see some sort of Canadian education or uh, Canadian uh, work experience. So you can obtain uh, this through the colleges and, uh, you know, why, when you complete your studies, you have your Canadian accreditation, uh, your diploma or certificate or degree. And uh, if you do a co-op uh, while you study uh, or even, you know, work part time while you're studying, you can still, uh, you know, obtain that work experience. So you're ready to go out there and uh, find a job and make a better living uh, for yourself and your families. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, Tarek, can we? Uh, mm. Okay. Diplomas, advanced diplomas. We've talked about uh, most of these things. We've been we've been organizing uh, many webinars with our partners. Uh, uh, we can maybe fast track and and maybe uh, I really want to talk uh, more about Seneca's uh, uh, programs mm -hmm. and what are some uh, popular programs for international students. And uh, uh, we we also would like to get some uh, uh, updated information. So um, are you? Are you offering your courses online right now, or is it hybrid, or how is it going to be uh, in your next uh, term? And 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 I'd like to uh, touch base on how students uh, can really um, uh, transition from us from SSL CZP mm -hmm. program to Seneca College. I'm not sure if you have a slide about that, but we can also touch base on that. Yeah. Uh, we, we've touched based on diplomas, advanced diplomas, because we have many partners, as you know, many partners in Ontario uh, with public colleges, and uh, we've already talked about these many times, and and uh, you uh, did a really good refresher about the college system in Canada. I've When we first started our webinars, I made a general uh, general webinar about studying in Canada, you know, what's the difference between college and university. I myself went through uh, this path, you know, um, I, 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 I went to a college first for two years, three years, and then I moved on to a university and finally got my degree from Simon Fraser University, for example. So, so uh, we mentioned these uh, many times. Uh, if we can maybe uh, capture more about Seneca's programs and sure. and uh, why students should choose um, uh, Seneca, uh, that would be great. Sure. So basically, uh, Seneca most popular programs are like diploma and the advanced diploma programs, depending on the region, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the most Middle Eastern region, is we are they are choosing to come to the diploma programs. More Europeans are postgrad programs, pardon, and more European programs or Russian or the uh, part is comes to the diploma or advanced diploma programs. Mm -hmm. Seneca is really good at the, as a program is really good at the technology programs, computer programming, computer programs, mm -hmm. uh, codings and social media, and also business programs as well. Mm -hmm. uh, from my own experiences lately, it's a digital social media marketing and business mm -hmm. analytics programs are very famous. Mm -hmm. And as you know, this uh, Senec, uh, our uh, 93 pro like 93 percent of our programs that were integrated programs, so which means that optional or mandatory core programs. Mm -hmm. uh, also, in this September, coming September, we will be online. As, uh, fully online and except couple programs mm -hmm. and for January intake basically it, it will be hybrid so half online and half uh, in class mm -hmm. but they will announce the programs as well so I haven't received any announce yet but it's internally we talk about it I'd be being told about that and we allow to just mention about that as well. If if Jim can show the website maybe while you talk about it, I'm not sure maybe you don't have it in your slides, uh, everything, but maybe we can show the website. If Jim, if you're there, do you mind sharing uh, the website so we can take sure, a, quick sure. look, a quick look at the programs that uh, Tarek uh, explained? Uh, you can continue, Tarek, by the way, yes. So uh, you just said, you're running online this term and next term uh, it will, it will be it will hybrid be enough, uh, I think on, on a program base you know based on the program yeah. it will be announced if it's going to be uh, on campus or all uh, online or hybrid 
uh, and you can see it here. And and there is actually um, we've we've actually given this update to our prospective students. So if they want to start from their home countries, actually, uh, as you already know, they can study online until the mm -hmm. end of uh, uh, end of April. Uh, and it will this time will be counted towards their post graduation work permits. Um, but of course, they have to apply for a study permit in order to start uh, at a college. But, you know, prior to that, if they need English upgrade, and of course, they can uh, start with us online uh, because we run our pathway program online as well. And we have uh, uh, we have four classes in three in three different time zones. Uh, so wherever you are uh, in the world, uh, you can join our pathway program. It's a 12-week program. Uh, EP, I can talk about this in the end as well quickly. Uh, once you complete that, or once you get your acceptance into our EP program, we can also apply to Seneca at the same time, get your conditional letter of acceptance okay. from Seneca. And once you complete our program, then you'll receive your official acceptance. And then uh, you can directly apply uh, for a study permit uh, with Seneca's uh, letter of acceptance and then either start online uh, in January until uh, April or, you know, if, if the travel restrictions are lifted by then, you can also come here and uh, continue your studies uh, in Canada. So this is Seneca's website and maybe you can go what we offer section and like we can see the programs and uh, Tarek can, you know, uh, talk more about their programs and popular programs as you just did, or you can just continue with your uh, presentation if you want. So basically our aviation programs is one of the most popular, but we don't really accept the international students. So I didn't okay. really want to touch about it okay. that much. And you said business? Yeah, business programs and mm -hmm. also the uh, technology programs, IT programs are really famous about it and mm -hmm. it's more demanded, mm -hmm. demandable programs. Mm -hmm. And most of our programs having like three intakes, May, January and also the uh, September so, intakes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And again, our most of the instructors are having a MBAs and master's degree. And they're all like industry, like experienced people, mm -hmm. especially like, for example, this is the one of the program that social media program, media mm -hmm. marketing program mm -hmm. that I give you example. Mm -hmm. And 93% of our programs are work integrated. So basically mm -hmm. op and internship programs, it's kind of that way. Mm -hmm. And also basically planning and This is the whole thing. Okay. Um, what are your admission requirements? I'm not sure if you have this so on your slide. Admission requirements are, I would say that like, first of all, SSLC students, basically if they want to come to our advanced or diploma programs. Mm -hmm. They need to complete the uh, EPE program. Okay. And it should be 70%, basically. Okay. Okay. Great. And after that, they have a, like directly start to diploma or advanced program, advanced diploma program. Okay. But if they want to go to the post grad program, mm -hmm. if they want to go to the post grad program, they have to take the IELTS, TOEFL, or Duolingo test as well. Mm -hmm. If they don't take it, they need to study at our English program for minimum eight weeks. Then okay. they continue the post grad programs. But in that case. I suggest them to finish EP program. And again, I was working at the SSLC way before a long time ago. And I find that the in the curriculum wise, it's the it's the most strongest mm -hmm. English school. Like uh, I know the background, the program actually. Mm -hmm. So basically after right after their graduation at EP, they should take the I I recommend them to take the Duolingo test right away. Mm -hmm. And getting the pathway, uh, our postgrad programs as well. Okay, so for uh, undergraduate uh, diploma or certificate or mm -hmm. advanced uh, diplomas, they can go into Seneca directly from our EP program. But yes. if they want to go into postgrad programs, postgraduate uh, diploma or certificate programs, uh, they need to. They can either um, take additional just eight weeks. Uh, English with you? Yes. 
Um, or do you have an option like do you have like a placement test or something at Seneca? We don't they, have. We don't have. We don't have. We just okay. they need to like I recommend you to I recommend students to take the Duolingo test right away because the good thing is for Duolingo to be honest, mm -hmm. it's like cheaper, faster, mm -hmm. and I never experienced it, but I heard that it's easier, easier than IELTS. And I'm sure our graduates, uh, our EP graduates, will be well prepared for uh, yeah. those type of uh, uh, exams as well. But you know, if if they want, they can also do uh, uh, IELTS test preparation with us. Yeah. If they want to go into a post grad program at Seneca, that's possible too. And uh, maybe we'll we'll talk. Um, I guess we were in discussions with uh, for a possible direct entry into your postgrad programs as well. So maybe in the near future, that might be a possibility too. Um, okay, so we learned about that. So we so let's say uh, there is the, there is a potential student, prospective student, who wants to study at Seneca. Uh, what do we do? What's the procedure? So they they get admitted into our program, and then we submit their application. Do we file uh, or send an online application? And then do we have to pay any application fees? And if so, how much is that? Um, okay. And then how long does this whole procedure take? And what do we need to submit uh, mm -hmm. to get admission into uh, Seneca College? Yeah, so basically, when you have a student, so you need to make it ready for like students uh high school diploma and uh, high school diploma transcript and also english scores as well okay. and you go to the our uh, online application portal so you submit that as well and before the pandemic we just you need to pay 90 dollars as okay. non-refundable application fee okay and before the pandemic it was kind of 10 business day to get the conditional letter of acceptance Mm -hmm. or letter of acceptance depending on what you're offering what you're submitting but now it takes a little bit two weeks to three weeks now the two procedure weeks. basically and when you submit it if you give me the application number i can follow up as well the students okay. like what you, you can expedite for us yeah <laughs> okay. always <laughs> and also i can follow up so basically you receive the application uh, letter of acceptance or mm -hmm. offer letter and um, there's a payment deadline so basically payment deadline is one month or two months depending on your the program and, and the how much program. how much do they have to pay is there like certain deposit amount or is the first semester so after you receive the letter of acceptance you need to pay the first semester in a month but usually if the students start in, let's say, next May, it takes two months as well. It's fine. Okay. In order okay. to keep your seat, so basically you need to pay your first semester tuition fee in, in a month, and then you're good to go. And you apply to the visa, complete your English studies. After your completion, come to and study at Seneca College. And uh, what are your tuition fees look like? So basically, our tuition fees per year, it's depending on the program, but mostly it's uh, per year, it's $15,000 to $17,000. Okay. And there's like most of programs are having a two or three intake, so it's like two or three semesters. So which means you need to pay semester by semester, so you don't need to pay in advance. And our bachelor programs are $18,000 to $21,000 per year. And how many bachelor's programs do you have? I, I believe you have business, most likely. Yeah, we have business programs and technology programs. I mean, information technology programs. So, which means around years? 18, yeah, four years, 18 programs, around wow. 18 bachelor programs. Mm -hmm. And we have 35 to 40 post grad programs. And also, we have a like kind of how many? Let me check. I'll say over 70 uh, diploma programs and over 30 advanced diploma programs. Okay. And uh, I'm sure this question will arise, uh, but uh, nevertheless, I can ask this. All our students are uh, uh, they, they're asking if there are any scholarships, any scholarship opportunities. Scholarships? Any, scholarships? Any, yeah. Mm -hmm. Scholarships basically. At the beginning, yeah, we have like available seven or eight scholarships, but from my own experience again, it's hard to get the scholarships from at the beginning at the college at the Seneca. 
So, but most of my students got the kind of financial aid or scholarship mm -hmm. after their completion of their first semester. They gave, they got to some part, some point of GPA or social, or they were in the soccer, college soccer team or basketball team. Mm -hmm. They achieve something and they, they apply to the financial aids. So nice. basically, first semester, we, uh, students needs to pay seven thousand or eight thousand dollars. They get like two thousand, three thousand dollars financial aids or scholarship, you can call. It. So once they become a student, then if yeah. they maybe maintain high uh, grade point averages, yeah. high GPAs, then uh, they'll maybe automatically qualify yeah. or they can apply once they're a student. Okay, yeah. great. And uh, do you have any? Uh, uh residences or uh, where do your students uh usually accommodate yeah so basically we have a two big residences and uh, let me share this screen so you can see the uh share this screen. by the way if you have more points on your presentation uh regarding senko we can also discuss yeah. it okay so basically i will i will share you a moment so basically, we have a two residences. It's in the New Home campus and uh, King's campus. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, so these are your campuses. Maybe we can just talk about your campuses as well. You said you have 10 campuses in Toronto. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So basically, let me finish the first uh, okay. residence. So basically, we have uh, like two residences. It's a uh, New Home and King campus. So it's five minutes to walk the, our main campus, Newham and the King campuses. It's a, like, think about it, two bedroom apartment with no living room. And there's a shared kitchen and shared washroom. And you have all your facilities in the room, in the house, but, uh, your, your room, basically bed, your just table and your mattress, all internet and cable TV and everything. And also you have a like kind of uh, laundry room in the residences and the like downstairs of the residence. Also we have a like convenience stores and also some cafeterias as well, cinema and the movie theater and everything in the residence as well, in mm -hmm. two residences. Mm -hmm. And fees are depending on the semester and depending on the season, especially like in the September and the January intakes are the most expensive ones because uh, mm -hmm. like high demand. But in the summer, it's getting cheaper. But normally, it's one room. It's mostly fifteen hundred to seventeen hundred dollars per month, and there's a different payment plans. Mm -hmm. And also, we have a like shuttle system in the between the campuses, so student can get the shuttle. Let's say if the student stays in Newham campus but studying at the Markham campus, he can she he can she can take the our shuttle as well. And um, in that case, and also our campuses that you mentioned about it, we have like 10 different campuses in Ontario, in Toronto, and except downtown area, and these are the uh, uh, big campuses, and these are each has a, a 20, hour, 20 hour security system, and all campuses have a gym, cafeteria, restaurant, bookstores, coffee shops, and everything. And our main campus is Newham campus, has a like real soccer field, basketball, and the ice skating ring as well. Okay. And also, again, in the between the campuses, we have a shuttle service, free shuttle service. So, which means students can travel between each other, each campuses as well. Okay. Uh, I I have a few questions here. Uh, mm -hmm. so, um, so she is asking if Seneca helps uh, students to find co-placement. Uh, we talked about this. Uh, they have their, uh, they, they give you basically all the tools and they have their career center to help you yeah. find a job. Uh, and she's asking if co-op is paid. Because we sometimes here in, in Ontario colleges, sometimes co-ops are not paid. We are uh, a bit confused about that, uh, but yeah. I assume they get paid. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Like, to be honest, it's, it, it's depending on the student as well, depending on a uh, student's experience and her background as well. Mm -hmm. But like, more, again, as you said, most of the 
uh, co-op programs are paid. And the good thing is for the Seneca College and faculties and also student services, career services, we are we were before the pandemic, we were doing the we were launching a job fairs. Let's say you study in the information technology program and then we invite the companies, they open their booth and you go there and apply there. And only Seneca College students go there. It's not a public event, it's a private event. So basically, also we help students to uh, upgrade their resumes, their cover letters, their interview skills, and everything. So basically, those tools we give them, it's really, really like easy to find a co placement as well. Great. And um, there's another question here: Do you have any registration deadlines for uh, each semester? Uh, registration, like we used to have, but as you know, now we are in a really different situation, very <laughs> strange situation. Now, to be honest, we even accept the students and late registrations and everything. So it's kind uh, of more like an ongoing uh, application. Yes, right. lately. But for example, our September semester is starting this Monday. But uh, in, we are going to close the registration by next week. So basically, if the student is ready to register, we are op we are open to accept. So if we have any last minute uh, students yeah. here in Canada with this valid study permit, perhaps uh, they can start. Okay, uh, there is another question. It's uh, it's a bit specific. Maybe you may need to get the details uh, from the faculty. But she was asking for acting program. Can students do audition by Zoom? Normally, by when they have to take the audition, is there any international students taking this kind of program? For the acting program, mm -hmm. uh, let, can I check it on website? If you yes. give me a second. Yes. So, uh, for some programs, we don't accept the international students. So, let me check. Okay. For her. So, you know, the, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and by the way yeah, if you guys have other questions you can continue asking um, but uh, we are almost uh, reaching our uh, one hour so after yeah. this uh, I'm going to slowly wrap up today's webinar so I think we are not accepting only the acting program, the uh, art form. Oh, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Acting for camera movies, yes. So basically, program level eight. So basically, student needs to complete our ELI level eight, mm -hmm. and then she can continue with the acting and camera program. But I can ask him just if they can get the Zoom through the Zoom. Okay. Acting. All right. Uh, if there are no other questions, do you want to add anything else, Tarek? Uh, I think I've asked uh, almost uh, all my questions. Yeah, uh, mostly okay. it's been covered. So okay. basically, yeah, like. Uh, industry partners. So most of the students are asking me um, uh, what companies we work with mostly. And here is our companies that we work with. Some of them I can I could put it. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly like global and the local Canadian companies. Nice. And student can get the co-op programs or co-op work permit, co-op work experience, or after their completion, they can get the job in these companies as well. Great. Uh, some international services that we cover up and admission requirements. We just talk about it. Mm -hmm. we'll talk about it. Great. Here is the some English uh, requirements. So basically. And again, I recommend students to take the Duolingo after completion of the EP. It's pretty easy for them. Okay. Uh, also, if the students wants to go to the like the art page, and each mm -hmm. program has a 
pro, uh, profile and you can get uh, their campuses and you can get their campuses duration credentials and the business and so cost as well and also you can get uh, our pathway agreements with the universities mm. yeah actually uh, i was going to ask about that uh, i'm sure yeah. when students study with you maybe they just study an associate degree or uh university transfer program they're able to move on to universities in ontario and elsewhere right yeah, exactly. So we work with the uh, Brock University, York University, uh, some of the University of Toronto programs, Ryerson University, Lakehead University, most of the Ontario and American universities. Okay. And right. also you can see the study plan that you need to take the programs, what kind of programs you can take here. Uh -huh. uh, online application, you know, I will mention about it, we covered that. Mm -hmm. And here is the, my contact. If you have a question or anything, feel free to email me anytime. And of course, uh, Jem just has shared our contact info yeah. uh, as well. And maybe Jem can share our website so I can quickly uh, sure. wrap it up for today. Uh, you can always, of course, contact us, studyssrc.com slash contact. And uh, you can even contact us in your own language we have. Uh, it's student advisors and marketers that speak your language and you can see it right here. This is our website. Uh, you can just simply even just go on uh, chat with an advisor uh, button and then you can just uh, type your questions or uh, you can chat with us from there and we'll get back to you uh, as soon as possible. And here you can see our campuses, our website and uh, what we offer. So recently we have launched uh, our uh, SSLC Connect program powered by National Geographic. If you can go back to that one, Jim, uh, let's just go through that quickly and then I'll, I, we can go to the Pathway Partner page. Here you can see our brand new SSLC Connect program. Uh, it's an online uh, ESL program powered by National Geographic. Um, if you want to improve your English before arriving uh, uh, to Canada, you can start uh, at the comfort of your home and it starts uh, from $70 per week. So it's very affordable. Uh, we also have other programs. Uh, we've launched uh, other programs during uh, during campus closures as well. So we another one is medical English that we're launching uh, next week uh, as of uh, September 16th. And you can see here the time zones. Uh, you can just go into that time in your city and you can find out uh, what time it will be uh, in your own city. And you can see the resources uh, that we use from National Geographic. And students say that 96% uh of our students say they're learning and improving their english during the virtual uh, classes and 95 percent of students say they like sslc virtual classes so so uh and we we appreciate uh, their feedback you can also see our cacct virtual uh as part of our sslc connect programs uh it's a communication for airline cabin crew training, and we have medical English, and of course we have our pathway program running online. Uh, all you have to do is just click there and register, put your name down, your last name, your email, and uh, we'll get back to you immediately, your phone number, nationality, whatever you, uh, uh, whatever there is there to fill out. And then you can see our pathway partners on this page. If you scroll down, um, we have over 40 partners uh, in Canada uh, that you can easily move on to from SSLC. And this is the webinar series, the start of the series, as I talked in the beginning. You can check it out and you can see the steps that you need to do uh, to be able to, you know, uh, enroll in our pathway program and then eventually uh, move on to a college or university in Canada just like uh, Tariq and myself did uh, years ago. And here you can see the partners. Um, as I said, we have, and Seneca is right there, of course. Uh, we have over 40 partners right now, and you can easily 
uh, once you graduate from our EP program, you can easily move on to these colleges and universities. Um, and you can go on the admissions tab and click on free online webinars and you will find out all our webinars. Uh, you can just uh, follow us from there. Uh, we have weekly pathway webinars with our pathway partners. We have uh, pathway webinars with uh, in-country representatives. So uh, we, we, we also hold webinars in Spanish, in Portuguese, in Korean, Japanese, and you can see them here. Uh, so we, we, we also started doing uh, these pathway webinars in, in your languages as well, in Spanish, Portuguese, and in other languages as well. And you can see our upcoming webinars uh, on this page as well. And uh, yeah, you can see more uh, with Colombia, you know, uh, so we are uh, in-country representatives uh, in Colombia, in Brazil, in Mexico and elsewhere. So you can, even yeah, we have uh, one in Korean coming up. So so we, we are um, keeping our website ourselves up to date. Uh, this website is updated uh, on a daily basis, thanks to Jim. Uh, so, so our students, our current students, prospective students, our partners can easily refer to our website because it's really important. It's really important to stay up to date, uh, to, to uh, get the latest information and then see what's going on. And uh, with these webinars, with these, uh, oh, you just want me to talk about online payment and We've made things easier for our, our students. Uh, we also launched our online payment with CIBC International Student Pay. So if you would like to join one of our uh, virtual uh, classes, uh, you can simply just go onto our website and make your payment uh, from our website easily now and join your uh, virtual program uh, ASAP as soon as possible. Okay, I guess uh, that's about it for today. I'd like to thank Tarek and Seneca College for this webinar. Uh, I hope to uh, see you. We, we usually see each other uh, in Turkey. We are both from Turkey and uh, I'm apart uh, from uh, being a pathway manager here at SSLC. I also uh, do marketing for SSLC. So I we used to go twice a year to, to attend uh, international uh, uh, education fairs in Turkey uh, to visit our partners there and meet with uh, our prospective and future students. But it looks like uh, it's not going to happen this fall. Maybe, hopefully, uh, next year, maybe in spring, uh, we'll see each other again uh, somewhere overseas or maybe even in Canada. Who knows? All right, everyone. Uh, thank you so much. And... Uh, I'll see you next week again. Take care.